the LFA Octagon touches down in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. So with the LFA going down to Brazil, I feel that we were going to kind of re rejuvenate and, and kind of uh, recreate uh, the Brazilian opportunity out there because there's so much talent out there. In July of 2021, the LFA began its international expansion, staging back-to-back -back events in Rio de Janeiro. LFA 111 produced the Fans' Choice Award for the event of the year. And LFA 112 crowned a new welterweight champion after an unforgettable one-night Grand Prix tournament that included the LFA's Fight of the Year. Now the promotion returns to the mecca of MMA for a championship doubleheader going down at LFA 126 on March 11th. Two new champions will emerge when the LFA awards belts in both the featherweight and welterweight divisions. In the main event, Jonas Bilharino makes his highly anticipated LFA debut after a highlight reel knockout win on Dana White's Contender Series. The Team Nogueira product has scored seven knockouts in nine victories. His opponent, Rafael Barbosa, makes his return to the LFA Octagon after scoring a memorable victory in his promotional debut with UFC President Dana White sitting cage side. The 24-year-old now looks for his third straight win and a championship belt. And a Brazilian athlete will be awarded the LFA welterweight strap for a third straight time in the co-main event after an unforgettable performance in the 2021 welterweight tournament that saw Gabriel Bonfim defeat Brenner Albert via TKO in the final round of their semifinal bout, Bonfim now gets his chance at LFA Gold. He'll square off with Muay Thai fighter Eduardo Garbon, who is coming off an impressive regional title victory. The rest of the all-Brazilian card is loaded with top prospects and the next generation of Brazilian MMA stars. Don't miss LFA 126 live from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil on March 11th. The main card action will air exclusively on UFC Fight Pass.